Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over some updates. Season 2 coming today. Some good news for that. Stuff today, but before we do get into the video, guys, I do want to make a few announcements. First and foremost, you guys need to the channel with that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give it a big thumbs up as always, and of course, comment down below and let me know what you guys think of today's content release, the LTDs. Secondly, guys, if you can't get into Mutt right now, the servers are gated, which I will go over in a second. I currently can't get into, I can't even get into Madden, like, I can't even click on anything on Madden. Weirdest part is, which you guys probably already know, some of your friends and our acquaintances are getting into it. Like, I have, like, 20 friends right now who can get into it, and I'm, like, one of three in that group that can it's just random. I never understood how they could gate. This happens all the time. It's like servers are gated, and then I go play mud, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I don't, I don't get it. I've never understood in mud how servers can be gated, but some people can get in, and some people can't. But it is what it is. Point is, guys, servers are gated, so don't freak out. Secondly, if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, which I am partnered with down below, I will have a link and a code for you guys to get up to a free 100 bucks to go ahead and do some daily fantasy lines, which is super fun, super cool to do, especially for like Thursday night football, which is tonight. So take advantage of that. I usually post my lines on Twitter, so if you guys want to check that out, follow me over there. DM me, I'll help you guys out with that. Now, solo battles gated starting at 5 a.m. So, some stuff has been a little iffy probably since around this morning, around 5 a.m. So, I'm currently still trying to get back in. It's, it's going to take some time, probably. Uh, schedule release is actually today, probably, I would assume around noon. They said today, in general, that they're going to go ahead and do this. So... I don't know when. I'm hoping noon. That's kind of like the time I'd assume between noon and two. I don't think it'll be later than that. I mean, no, it's actually very possible. I'm just, I don't think it's targeted for later than that. If it happens, it's just Madden in general. Uh, follow EA Sports underscore Mutt for when you, so you know when content goes live. We're released today for sure, though. At least that's confirmed. Holiday content schedule. Zero chill starts tomorrow. Friday, December 10th. During zero chill, the following content releases will be put on hold till we return from holiday break. So you guys know that. They pretty much release the entire schedule. They'll do like some big stream beforehand and then pretty much they'll take a break. So it could be a while. It could be like a week or two to even three until they come back. That usually takes a little bit. You know, they take that whole holiday break stuff. Now, it looks like it's starting earlier than usual if I'm not reading this correctly. Zero Chill does start tomorrow though, the entire promo. And then I'm not sure, but we're not going to be getting these. So Team of the Week, Wildcard Wednesday, LTDs also doesn't come back till January 11th. Which pretty much means we have a whole month, just about, of non like regularly scheduled content during the week. Zero chill special stream tonight at this tonight December uh, 9th, Thursday at 7 p.m. Crayley did say the stream will probably go live around 6:50, 6:55, so be there around that time, obviously. But that's interesting. That's good stuff. Next, guys, we have an LTD here. We have Minka Fitzpatrick, free safety for the Steelers, 95 overall, so he gets 96 powered up, 93 speed, 94 excel, 90 tackle. 93 play rec, 94 pursuit, 88 man, 94 zone, 86 power. You know, the, I like Minka. I like the card. The only thing is, I feel like the stats should have been higher. Uh, he doesn't have a single stat above 95. A single stat above 94, actually. So, always found that weird. This card should be, like, really elite. Uh, I wish the hit power would have been at least 90 and the man would have been at least an 89. I'm kind of confused on a few of those fronts. If the man and hit power is going to be in the 80s, the zone should have been higher. So, you know, give or take somewhere. The card's not bad. I think the card's really good. I just think for the overall, it's not as great, right? Like, when they drop a 95 or 96 overall... Zero chill safety will probably be better than this card. They're really they're really putting a wall on the speed these days. They're like locking secondary at 93, 94 speed. They would not really let that get ahead of that. They're really trying to lock that down, which really doesn't make sense when they were adding like two plus speed per week drop, which just made no sense. I guess not, not much here just makes sense, right? Next, we have Brandon Cooks, wide receiver, deep threat archetype. Uh, he's the other LTD for the day, 94 speed. Again, they're capping these wide receivers at 94 now. That's their thing there too. 88 jumping, 94 catching, 94 catching traffic, 92 spec, 90 short, 92 medium, and 94 deep. As per usual, guys, Brandon Cooks, his random card he gets throughout the year, he always gets some big card like this. It's it's crazy. It's a top tier route runner, top tier catcher, 95 speed. Gonna be similar to Tyreek Kill. Pretty much, if you get him and Tyreek Kill, you have two of those elite speedy deep threats. I mean, there's gonna be there's a lot of there's just a lot of wide receivers this year, so I don't really see it as a thing that like you have to go ahead and get a wide receiver right now. There's just so many wide receivers, so many things to do with them with track cards. Again, if you want to have like max out speed, you got to get these 94 guys, obviously, and then plus team teams, but still going to be good nonetheless. Next, as we have Ultimate Season, Season 2. These are the rewards for all you guys who haven't seen them. You can go ahead and screenshot this, pause them. I'll mention a few of the notable ones, but if you guys want to go ahead and just, you know, screenshot it, go ahead so you can always check the rewards by the time before it comes out. So the biggest thing here are probably the red ones. Season Champion and Collectible. That's going to be, I'm assuming, the, the main guy that you upgrade um 89 overall superstar champions fantasy pack 
That's pretty interesting. Season collectible. Level 15, we have a rare strategy item. So that's cool. The rare strategy item is always fun because you can always get one of those good ones. And if not, you can always put it towards the exchange. Another season collectible at 25. Again, every five levels are really the big ones. But there are some power passes and some cool stuff between them. There's a lot of free packs, a lot of free coins. It actually, looks like a lot more than last time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, level 30, you get the NCAT Jerry Judy. Level 35, you get another season collectible. You do get that power pass 91 at level 33. That's a good one right there. Level 4, you get a 93 to 94 overall power pass, which is a pretty high tier power pass. Use that in 94 overall. You have a 95 powered up. Um, season collectible. Then you get that NCAT PJ Williams, which does power up to a 97, which is really super awesome. PJ Williams saves. I mean, people may not like the name, but it's a 97 overall card. You really can't discount that. Then we have Ultimate Season Season 2 here. Overall XP and challenges. You guys do know there's, they changed a lot of the XP uh, and the way you level up in this season. Players share that there was not enough XP and challenges, which required repeating challenges in order to increase their mud levels in the season. Pretty much just saying, no one did any of the XP stuff. Everyone just played the same solo over and over again for hours and or days to level up. Uh, with Ultimate Season 2, refresh. More XP has been front-loaded when a player completes stars in, a ch in the challenges. Complete all five stars in a challenge, receive 100, 1,000 XP. Complete a challenge for the second where all five stars are previously completed, receive 200 XP. Receive a challenge for the third time. Complete a challenge for the third time where all five stars are previously completed, receive 1,000 XP. What this pretty much means, guys, is that it's like the, the, the diminish. This is what they think with layman's terms. It's like the rule of diminishing results. If you play the same ch challenge, you complete, you keep getting less and less. So the point, pretty much, you're looking at all the other stuff and you're like, huh, I think I'd rather play another, so, like get, go to a new solo and get 1,000 versus playing this one again for 100 now. People are going to find a certain solo where you can somehow complete it 10 times quicker than you can complete the other one in one. That's going to happen, but this actually is really cool. I hope this does end up working out because, yeah, I don't like playing the same solo. Layman's terms, uh, layman's terms, we all want you to have fun. There's nothing more boring than playing the same challenge over and over again to increase your mutt level. The mutt team will continue to find ways to introduce more challenges. Now, I don't mind this. I actually think this is how it always should have been. I never thought there should still be a room to still have to do the, you know, a thousand solos per day. But here's the thing. They have to do it so you can get it quick because people still don't want to wait, right? Even though they introduced this, people still want to be max mutt level within a, in the first week. Now, not everybody, right? Not only the crazy people want to be max mutt level in the first few days, but people still want to do that. So that's going to require them to still repeat solos. And it shouldn't be they make this like a, I guess like it's like COD, right? There's a battle pass. There's level 50. There's level this, right? You can, you can, or there's Fortnite. You can get it in a, in a few days. You can get it in two, th three months. Or like me, you may never get it because you don't play enough, right? But if you play, if you play well and you play enough, you can get it pretty quickly. But there's, you know, there's both ends of the spectrum. It's possible to get it quickly and slowly. In mud, it's like, no, we made this super slow. We're not going to give you enough XP until about February. So you have to repeat solos. I don't like that. It shouldn't be scripted where everyone gets it at the same time. If you want your rewards now, you should be able to. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.